So next we'll move on to the pencil sketch of the tree. I'm going to use the scroll bar just to whiz along to that area and get that nice and clear in the middle of my screen. So we're going to tackle the thing that probably looks the most challenging. And if we were doing this in an older version of Illustrator, then I would certainly agree with that. But it has gotten much, much easier now. I'm going to pick up my zoom tool and just zoom in a little bit closer to view that tree trunk sketch. I'm going to go then back to my pen tool and then I'm going to hover my cursor over the bottom left corner in there and then left click and let go of the mouse. No dragging, just the same mouse gestures as we saw with the tent sketch earlier. And then I'm going to hover across to where the next abrupt change in direction is for the path, which is just up here. I'm going to ignore the curvature to start off with. So left click here, let go of the mouse, hover across and then left click and let go of the mouse. And every time we get to one of these corners, it's just a plain old left click and let go of the mouse. So I'm just working around these here. So the, the primary thing here really is to just not acknowledge the curvature, but just lay down anchor points where there is an abrupt change in direction. So again, in this, the pencil sketch is not quite level, but um, smart guides are just helping me get that level by showing the snapping line in there. Left click, let go, and then back to the start and then left click and let go once more. So that is the basis of the, um, the overall shape because it looks nothing like the pencil sketch really at the moment. So what it's called for is to go to the pen tool, click and hold down to reveal a pop-out menu. And then we choose the only other really useful tool in that list, which is called the anchor point tool. If I left click on that, as long as the path is active, and then if I hover my cursor over that path, the segment that is, and then click and hold down the left mouse button and drag towards the pencil sketch curve, it curves it for us. And the really neat thing about this is that all that this tool does is it adds handles onto the existing anchor points to achieve the curvature that we need. And this only works with corner anchor points. So again, hovering over the segment that you wish to curve, drag, you can move it up and down, but just to match the pencil sketch in here. And that's the process that you take every time. Just click and drag to add that curvature in there. And with the old way of doing this with the pen tool, this would have been incredibly tedious. But now, thanks to um, added functionality that was brought in a few versions back, this is made much, much easier. I'll switch back to my selection tool and then click away from there. And that is the tree trunk a far simpler process with the Convert Anchor Point tool.